everyone, this is Jordan from Canon Coffee, and today we have a Magnifica with us in the shop by DeLonghi. Um, this machine had came in for a pretty interesting reason, it's more so a talking point uh, for the channel too. Uh, this machine was repaired by us two years ago, I believe, and it was never used after the fact, and maybe it was, but just like very minimal, um, I believe no longer than a week of use, and then they put it in storage. Um, last time we repaired it, we did the basic, I believe, tune-up and then replacement of the pump. Um, when they came back to the machine around two years later, uh, the machine wouldn't work at all. And so what happens is, here's the original pump in 2021, so it is recent, it is technically new. Um, but what happens is, if you don't uh, dry out the pump uh, before storing it, uh, what happens is the pump completely gets clogged, so we're going to have to just put the compressor straight to the bottom and... As you can see, nothing's coming out through the top, um, and nothing's wanting to get through. And how that happens is, you know, we repair this machine, we run it, um, customer uses it, and there's just a bunch of water in here. And if you leave that for longer than a year, it starts to build scale in there. Um, and unless you want to, you know, take com part completely the pump, which I don't even think it, you would be able to get to that chamber. Um, it is completely clogged and won't vibrate at all. Even when energy is going to it, even when um, you're trying to like again push air or water through it, it will not unclog. And so we had to re-replace the pump on this machine. And so we did. Um, we replaced the pump. It, it's working great. So we're just going to quickly test the machine. We didn't do any sort of cleaning or tune-ups or um, even more just like trying to clean the rest of the machine. I did do a few cleaning cycles because their spouts were clogged and I wanted to test coffee brewing, make sure everything was working fine. So I did quite a few cleaning cycles because they were really clogged down here, um, but I was able to clean them pretty good. Um, they're not fully clean, of course, because um, we're again, this is more so on the house just to make sure that the machine is running. Uh, and so we're gonna quickly test with the short coffee. There's a lot of dark roast in the grinder here. Um, usually not recommended to use dark roast. This is from a customer, and so we're just, you know, I'm just using it for testing. But if, and DeLonghi will tell you the same thing, if using dark roast on these machines will cause a grinder to break prematurely, um, by a few years actually, just because of how oily the beans are and um, how hard they are to grind. And so, highly recommend sticking to more of a medium roast, um, and uh, drinking that. Although dark roast does taste the best with milk. The issue with it is it's not a commercial grinder, and so usually recommend sticking to a more medium roast um, for super automatic machines. As you can see, it brew fine. Um, we're gonna quickly test the hot water because I do have a few mentioning points. You might have to descale this machine quite a bit since it was in storage for quite a long time. And the reason I mention that, uh, apart from the brewing and the you know the uh, rinsing on the group head, which is completely unclogged, um, your hot water tap is. Somewhat, uh, somewhat clogged. This is supposed to be hot water, as you can see. It does cool off after a while, um, but the way it's acting is indication that there's probably scale build up within the steam side of the generator. Because the steam and the um, hot water side or functions of this machine use the same generator, and so maybe after years of storage, a little bit scale build up. But um, hopefully, just detailing at home is pretty simple. Uh, we'll fix that up. It's just it's quite a long process, and again, we didn't do much cleaning to this machine, but it still partially works and works pretty well. After running it for a while, it did clear up a bit more when I first started doing it. It was very spotty and um, not a lot of water was coming out. And we can't really test the steam quality because we don't have the steam nozzle. Um, this is just a hot water nozzle, and you can change them out by pulling this thing. Um, but besides that, we're just going to quickly rinse the machine just to show that that's also working. I'm just going to turn off, get into the rinsing uh, cycle. Let's get into position. It's going to activate the pump. Oh, it didn't. Probably because we're in the middle of going back and forth. But yeah, that's about it for this repair. If you like this video or any other repairs on our channel, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching.